Today we're going to show you the 5 Series Architectural Inline Coupled Shades with Fascia and Top Back Cover. This coupled shading system consists of two shade bands operated by a single motor, allowing the shade assembly to span more than one window. By specifying a custom fabric width for the right shade band, fabric panels cover only the window and not the wall, achieving a uniform look. For the left shade band, the bracket to bracket measurement is 26 and 3 8 inches. With the standard fabric and tube manufacturing deduction of 3 quarter inch on each side, the fabric width is 24 and 7 8 inches. On the right side, we want to specify a custom fabric width of 24 and 7 8 inches as well for uniform window coverage, but the bracket to bracket dimension is much wider at 42 and 7 8 inches. On the idle side, the standard deduction of 3 quarter inch between the bracket and fabric is maintained, but the coupler side is much larger as evidenced by the larger width of bare tube. The motor shade band has the bracket latch mechanism on the motor end and a retractable spring-loaded coupler shaft on the other end. The idle shade band has a spring-loaded idle shaft. We want to start with the motor side. The mid-support bracket has a nice swivel bearing which allows a steep angle of attack for installation. Engage the coupler shaft with the mid-support bracket and then secure the motor end engaging the latch mechanism with the mounting posts on the motor side bracket. On the idle side, we have the standard spring-loaded idle shaft, and on the drive side is a tube insert which engages the coupler drive shaft. First engage the idle bracket, then depress the spring-loaded drive shaft and raise the shade band in place and let the drive shaft engage the idle shade band. It may take some jiggling to get the coupler shaft to fully engage. Do not release the idle shaft band or remove the fabric wrap binding protective white paper until the mechanical interlock between the shade bands has been both physically and visually confirmed. Visual verification of interlock consists of both seeing the groove around the shaft on the idle side of the mid support bracket and also the white anti-squeak coating on the coupler drive shaft where it engages the mid-support bracket. Once the shade bands are securely engaged and interlocked, the next step is to make the appropriate adjustments to align the hem bars. Once the shades are powered, we can use the up-down buttons to operate. Since adjustment is required, we will use the coupler tool or spanner wrench and rotate the idle shade band to achieve proper alignment. The best way to properly align the hem bars is to actually raise the idle shade band up a little higher than the adjacent band and then lower it in tension for a nice solid adjustment. As we test the shades, it's clear they are properly adjusted. We will show an example of using the coupler tool to uninstall the idle shade as well. First bind the fabric roller so it does not accidentally roll out. Then use the coupler tool to retract the couple drive shaft and disengage the idler side band. To complete our installation, we will snap on our fascia covers and end caps for a nice finished look. Crestron inline coupled shades are available with the architectural brackets and architectural dual brackets and decor brackets.